Getting service right one time isn't good enough. We have to design and monitor systems so that our team get it right every time or as close to that ideal as we can get. Find out more in today's show. Welcome back to year four of this weekly edition every Friday of the Japan Business Mastery Show. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, Dale Carnegie Franchise Owner Tokyo, Master Trainer, President of Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training, and best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery. Zaegyo is the Japanese translation of Japan Sales Mastery. My new book is Stop Wasting Money on Training, or in Japanese, Training de okane wo muru ni suru wa yamemashou. We are bringing the show to you from our studio in the High Performance Center in Akasaka, in Minatoku, the business center of Tokyo. This is episode number 181, and we are talking about superior customer service. Before we get going, a quick word from our sponsor. If you want to be successful as a leader, do the Leadership Training for Managers course. All companies need people who can both manage and lead. Leading people screams out for real skills in communication, dealing with all different types of people, being excellent at innovation, planning, delegation, handling mistakes, doing performance reviews really well, and inspiring and motivating the team. Do the Leadership Training for Managers course now in either Japanese or English. Are you doing business with Japan? Do you really know how things work? Japan Business Mastery provides the answers. Do you have the right networks and know how to create them? Do you know how to get on the same wavelength with Japanese buyers? Do you know what being trustworthy looks like from the Japanese perspective? Japan Business Mastery is based on more than 30 years experience in Japan and will become your go-to guide. Want to succeed in Japan? Buy Japan Business Mastery now. Welcome back. Okay, now it's time for the show. Sore de wa ikimashou. So let's get going. Superior customer service. Jan Carlsen, many years ago, published a tremendous guide to customer service. He had the job of turning around SAS Airlines and captured that experience in his book, Moments of Truth. I was reminded of Carlson's insights when I was recently checking into my hotel in Singapore. While going through the check-in process at the hotel, a waiter from the adjoining restaurant approached me bearing an ice-cold glass of freshly squeezed juice. Singapore is very humid, and trust me, that ice-cold beverage went down very well. I thought this is really well thought through, customer service by this hotel. One of Carlson's observations about customer service, however, was the importance of consistency of delivery. For example, visualize the telephone receptionist answers your call in a pleasant, helpful manner, and you are uplifted by your exposure to the brand. The next staff member receiving the transferred call, however, is grumpy and unfriendly. Now both your mood and positive impression plummet. You are suddenly irritated by this company who have just damaged their brand by their lack of an ability to sustain good service across only two consecutive touch points with the customer. So back to my story. As I get to my room in good spirits, after unexpectedly receiving my ice cold juice, I find out the television isn't working. After forensic search for the cause, including a few harsh words with the uh, television controller, I discover ah, the power is not on. There is a card slot next to the door that initiates the power supply to the room. Yes, I worked it out eventually, but thought occurred to me that the pleasant young woman checking me into the hotel failed to mention these two facts to me, card and slot 
requirement. Sustainability, good service, has to be the goal if you want to project your brand. When you're the lead of your company, you presume that everybody gets it about representing the brand and that the whole team delivers consistent levels of service. You expect that your whole team is supporting the marketing department's efforts to create an excellent image of the organisation. After all, you've been spending truckloads of money on that marketing effort, haven't you? But are all of the staff supporting the effort to build the brand? Perhaps they have forgotten what you've said about consistent customer service in the past, or they're a new hire or a part-timer who didn't get properly briefed. As leaders, we should all sit down and draw the spider's web of how customers interact with us and who they interact with. We should expect that nobody gets it and determine that we have to tell them all again and again and again. First impressions count, but so do all the follow-up impressions if we want to build a sustainable, consistent, positive image with our customers. Consistency of good experiences doesn't happen automatically. We have to look again at all of our touch points with our customers and ensure that everyone in the team understands their place in maintaining the excellent brand we have built up. I hope you enjoyed today's show and so please subscribe on YouTube, share with your family, friends and colleagues, become a regular. Hit the little bell icon to receive update notifications. Our website details are on screen now www.dale-carnegie.co.jp It's packed with value so certainly check it out. We try to offer as much value as possible so you might also enjoy our other shows. In fact, we are releasing content six days a week for podcast Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday for the Presentations Japan series, and every second Tuesday for the Business of Touches in No Oshie Show, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan series, and every second Thursday for the Business of Pro Podcast Show, Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays for Japan's top business interviews. Now you get these wherever you get your podcast. Also, every Monday, we release the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro TV Show. And every Friday, the Japan Business Mastery Show. Saturdays, every Saturday, we are releasing Japan's top business interviews. These are all on YouTube. We appreciate your support and please let others know about it so they can benefit too. We want to make a contribution to helping people build their careers and businesses. And so please join with us in that endeavor. In episode number 182, we're talking about capturing your audience. On a go, Tashimas. Please join me next week to master business here because that is what we all want, isn't it? Japan Business Mastery.